Now I'm going to demonstrate the system-wide security defences of the F5 um, DNS solution. Okay, so looking at the demo environment again, the F5, we're going to use an IAP to modify the configuration. Uh, we're going to generate both legitimate and malicious traffic using JMeter. We're going to use, uh, we're going to look at log entries in the GUI as well as custom logs in the file system. And we're going to demonstrate both defense uh, for our requests and responses. On the request side of things, uh, we'll do a range from source IP address compliance uh, down to, you know, anomalous volumes and uh, suspicious request handling. Um, and then on the response side, a smaller amount, but still some useful uh, tools uh, to defend yourself. All right, so on the system, let's jump back into the, the IAP. Uh, now the section we're going to go down to is now called um, system-wide defences. So the first thing we'll do is enable uh, source IP address reputation. Uh, the second thing we'll enable is actually contextual defence. Now here I'm saying that the type any is not allowed in terms of a query type on this interface. Now it is RFC compliant but I don't have a use case for it so I'm going to block it. Now a type any is, is commonly used for reflection and amplification attacks because um, you know, a 50 byte query can resolve in a 4 meg response. What you're saying with a type any is for the, the um, resolver to respond with most of the information it knows about the zone. Okay, um, I'm going to also check for RFC compliance failures. Uh, with UDP traffic, look, I could have enabled this within the IAP itself. Here I've actually told you there's an action required and you have to go to this part of the F5 to set it up. The reason I've done it that way is that the uh, UDP flood profile is actually set up for the whole device across all virtual servers, not just the ones I'm talking about in this IAP. Okay, now we'll look at rate limiting DNS queries, which is just for this virtual server. So um, I'll reduce it down to a small number um, for my demo. Uh, and then this last one, what I'm doing here is uh, there's another type of query as well as any, which I've discussed at length above. There's also the type text, uh, which can result in a large response. There are others, but you know, for demo, I'm gonna use text. In this case, what I do is, is on receiving that query type, I'll actually respond with an empty, um, an empty response, but I'll set the truncate flag, which will force the client to talk to me over TCP. So there we go. Let's set that up. Um, now the first thing I'm gonna do is IP intelligence. Okay, so let's go to JMeter, five requests. Uh, we'll send it, no bad IP address, there we go. Okay, so I've sent all five. And there we go, we've got the uh, five source IP addresses there have been detected. Um, and we've got a blacklist class and we've dropped them all. Okay, um, that's all good. The next one we're gonna go to is protocol. So now we'll send it from a random, but normally good. Let's hope we don't get unlucky and it chooses a bad one. Um, let's send five of them. It's not sending so fast, but it's sending nonetheless. Um, oh. Oh, and I think I've, oh, I've sent type any. And there we go, and they've come through. Um, and so there, what we've done is we've blocked them because they're type any um, and they've come from random source IP addresses. Okay, next one I'll do is I'll send A records, but I'll send a lot of them. Uh, but before I do that, I better get to the screen. Okay. Um, right, if we send a thousand, oh, I missed it, so I'll send it again. Um, all right, and okay, so I sent it a couple of times, so uh, we'll see. Now in 11.5, um, we just detect it, and so I still allow them through. Um, in in um, version 11.6, we, we rate limit. 
will block the, uh, the additional requests. So there you go. So you see I've, I've been able to address that. Now if I just look at some of the settings on this, so from a security uh, profile perspective when we're looking at the type any, um, you can see there's lots of different query types I could have added into that mix or instead of in, in I could have just allowed specific types of gone with more a blacklist approach of exclusion. Um, same when I look at uh, from a DNS profile perspective you see there's lots of different um, query types that I could detect on and this is also where I um, select my protocol error detection. Okay, now here I mentioned that um, you set some things for the device itself. So there's a range of detection mechanisms for the device, including flood. Uh, so if I want to set a UDP flood, there we go. Um, I can set that to whatever I want. Um, and um, now I'm going to detect on that and rate limit on that. So there we go. Um, right, now the next one that I want to do is force... Uh, something over to TCP. So what I what I've done there is let's use a text. And we see what we've done here is I've done this via a custom log message. Um, it's detected it. It's de detected it's that type of uh, query over UDP and it's redirected it to TCP as we're expecting. So there we go. All right, now let's just jump back in and do some of the um, some of the response defences. So we'll leave some of these on. Okay, so the first one I'll do is a bad um, resolved IP address. Now, in 11.5, uh, we can do this via the IP intelligence feature. In 11.6, we have a much better solution, uh, which is we call um, RPZ, which uses the reputation of fully qualified domain name. Um, so that's a much better solution, but that's in 11.6. So I'll demo that uh, once I've got the 11.6 up and running properly. Okay, so now we've configured that. Uh, right, now what we'll do, the way I've set this up is just any message should result in, um, in bad reputation. What I've done is I've, I've done a little eye rule to change the, the, the address to a known bad one. So what we've done there is we've said, yep, it's the IPI has dropped the response because it, it, this was the record that it responded um, with, and that's a known bad source IP address, oh sorry, destination IP address, which is a spam source, and that's who it responded to. So there you go, that's, um, that's that one working. Now, the last one on the defense, on the um, on the response side of things. Is rate shaping responses into pools. And so let's make it quite quite small. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm saying because I'm responding and actually on the response it is a large response, I'm gonna rate shape it into a two meg pool. Okay. So there we go. Um, now I'll change this to type any. I'll throw this at the device and what we'll see is it's now detected that it's a large response. It's 108 long and so it's rate shaping that response. So there you go. There's a range of defenses uh, that we have set up um, system wide. Uh, to defend uh, your service against um, DNS attacks.